Hello, it's Eileen. I want to show you really quickly how to use the SASVG plugin. And there's a few things, it's not at all complicated, but just so you are aware, I'm going to leave this page. Um, you need to, number one, have the plugin. So it's SAW um, Web Solution SVG. You'll see it comes in is Divi SVG module. The other plugin, this is my personal website, and I have the SVG support plugin already because thanks to more, I have a logo that's SVG. So if you don't have that, I would start with this plugin and then I would download the uh, premium plugin from Elegant Marketplace, the SVG module. Then, in my case, I went over to Icon Finder and I just downloaded um, a martini just for fun. There's, let's see, that one's kind of fun, the Flame. And you can just download SVG. And I'm on a Mac and this is set just to go over to my desktop. And then this is my test page. So I'm going to come in here. And I have this pretty layout in here from uh, the Divi Cloud, but so I'm sort of, you know, adding my own thing. I'll put this below just so we can have a little scroll and see what happens. Then I'm going to insert the module, and here it is. Upload SVG. So I'm going to pull in our little flame. Oh wait, I didn't show you any of the options. So you can use a background method. I'm not going to do that. I don't want it to link anywhere. Delayed, I can say I'll sync it. Um, animation, how long I want it to take. So let's say um, two seconds. I'll say ease, auto start, and then I'll just leave all these. Now, if you want to come over here, you can change the color. So I'll make this one purple. I made the other one orange. And then you have a few more customization options for width and height and the line width. So let's say I wanted to make it a little thicker than the default. I'll just change that. So I'm going to save. I'm going to save my draft. Actually, I didn't even have to do that. I could have just previewed it. Um, and we'll go to preview. <laughs> All right, where is it? Let's see, I think it's my internet connection. Here we go. So like I said, this was just a um, something I pulled in from the cloud for other testing. And now you can see I set it three seconds. It's going pretty slowly and it's fairly thick where the martini, I set it at, to go at uh, the speed at one second and the lines are much thinner. Um, but you know, you play with it based on the needs of your client and your project. And there you go. So a little bit of fun.